In this video, we're looking at a couple of examples for strength of linear relationships problems within the Delta Math online system. So in here, it gives us four regressions, and it says which of the following regressions represents the strongest positive linear relationship between X and Y? So they give us the equation Y equals AX plus B. For my students, we're more familiar with Y equals MX plus B. Don't let that throw you. That Their A here is the same as our M. Right, so when they say A equals negative 3.4, they're saying the slope M is three, negative 3.4. Right, A is 12.2 here. That means M is 12.2, and the B is still the y-intercept. But the key thing we're looking at for this for this problem set is the R, the correlation coefficient. Right, we know that that number, if it's if it's a positive linear relationship, it's going to be a number between zero and one. The closer the number is to one, the stronger the linear relationship. The closer that number is to zero the weaker the linear relationship. Okay, so this is positive, so we know the negative ones, they're gone. So what's the better answer, 0.27 or 0.80? Well, 0.8 is a lot closer to 1 than 0.27, right? 0.27 is real close to 0. So we're going to say linear regression number 4 is the correct answer here. Submit. All right, next problem. Okay, which of the following is a strong positive relationship? I'm looking for positive again. So... Uh-oh, now here they give us 1.05. This is a trick. Okay, again, it's always going to be a number between 0 and 1, where 0 means there's absolutely no correlation at all with linear, and 1 is an exact line, perfect correlation. Okay, so it's never going to be over 1. So this one just is, is bogus information, if you will. So we got to pick between 0 0.10 and 0 0.78. So 0 0.78 is much closer, so we're going to pick linear regression 1. All right, next problem. Which of the following represents a strong linear re relationship between X and Y? All right, so this just wants a strong linear relationship, and it doesn't care if it's positive slope or negative slope. But again, the negative 1.15, it's gone. You can never have a number. If it's negative side, it's between 0 and negative 1. We want it close to negative 1. So that one's out of the picture. So 0.17 is pretty close to 0. 0.38 is pretty close to 0. The furthest away from 0, closest to 1, is 0.67. So we're going to say 4. Yeah. Let's do one more. Um, which of the following has the strongest positive relationship? So this one's going to be 1.08 is bad. Again, we can't have that. It's impossible. So it'll be 0.67. So we're going to say the fourth one. Um, oh, careful here. Which of the following represents the weakest linear relationship? Weakest. All right, so that's to be close to zero. So 0 0.07, right? Negative 0 0.38 is further away from zero than 0 0.07. So this one, the answer is going to be two. So you got to read carefully. Glad I did the extra one here. All right, and then that's it.